Hello student, uh, this is Mr. Martin. As you all know that we are home for the half-term break and uh, I'd like to give you the following assignments. So before we look into this video for the assignment, down this video at the bottom there's a place written subscribe so you can just press on it and then you can like also there at the bottom and you can also even go ahead and comment before you view this video otherwise keep watching as i take you through today's assignment in mathematics thank you welcome this video clip is meant for the maths assignment for the half term break for the form 2 class and the half term break is supposed to take place between the 26th of this month 2022 to 29th of this month 2022 so this video clip has been prepared by Ongeti Kim Martin and therefore I would like to take you through the questions and before I take you through ensure that you do the subscription there at the lower part of this video so the first question here reads the sum of two numbers exceed their product by one their difference is equal to their product less five find the two numbers that is question number one question number two evaluate negative 12 divide by in bracket negative 3 times 4 minus in bracket negative 15 close the bracket everything divided by negative 5 times 6 divide by 2 plus bracket negative 5 close the bracket then we go to question number three in question number three reads evaluate without using mathematical tables or calculate so you should note that you are supposed to you are supposed to calculate this without using mathematical table or calculator that is 1.9 times 0 0.032 everything divided by 20 times 0 0.0038 question number four a two-digit number is such that the sum of the ones and the tens digit is 10. If the digits are reversed, the new number formed exceeds the original number by 54. Find the number. Okay, you can go ahead and write down those assignments in your access book before we move to the next question. In the next question, we have question number five. And in question number five, we have the sum of two numbers exceeds their product by one. Their difference is equal to their product less five. Find the two numbers. Question number six evaluate without using a calculator so you can see the fraction here so i want you to evaluate this fraction here the fraction without using a calculator okay then let's move to question number seven there was a fundraising in matisa high school one seventh of the money that was raised was used to construct a teacher's house and two-thirds of the remaining money was used to construct the classrooms. If 300,000 shillings remained, how much money was raised? You can go ahead and work out that. Then, number eight, let R be equal to 0 0.151515, meaning 1515 is recurring, express as a fraction. Okay, you can... You can also write this one down in your exercise book. Then we can move to the next question. 
in the next question number nine we have question number nine reads use tables to find a roman one four point nine seven eight two roman two the reciprocal of thirty one point six five Then we have part B. Hence, evaluate to four significant figure the value of 4.9782 uh, 4.978 squared minus 1 over 31.65. So you can work out that. Question number 10. Four farmers took their goods to the market. Muhammad had two more goats as Koech, had three times as many goats as Muhammad, whereas Odupoi had ten goats less than both Muhammad and Koech. Now, Roman 1, you are required to write a simplified algebraic expression with one variable representing the total number of goats. Roman 2, three butchers bought all the goats and shared them equally. If each of the butcher got 17 goats. How many did Odupoi sell to the butchers? So you can also put down that question in your exercise book. Then we can move to the next question. In the next question we have Question number 11. The ratio of John's earning to Musa's earning is 5 to 3. If John's earning increases by 12%, his new figure becomes 5,600 shillings. Find the corresponding percentage change in Musa's earning if the sum of their new earning is 9,600 shillings. Question number 12. A certain amount of money was shared among three children in the ratio of 7 to 5 to 3. The largest share was 91 shillings. Find the part A, total amount of money, part B, difference in the money received as the largest share and the smallest share. Then question 13. Three sirens wailed at an interval of 30 minutes, 50 minutes, and 35 minutes. If they were together at 7.18 a.m., which was on a Monday, what time and day will they next whale together? So you can also put those ones down in your notes. Then we can move to the next question. Now before we move to the next question, there's this question down here. Are the questions reflecting what was taught in class? I would like to know as the head of department. Okay, so you can make that comment next to the video clip. There's a place there for comments. You can comment on that. Then question number 14. In question number 14, it reads, Two businessmen jointly bought a minibus which could ferry 25 paying passengers when full, the fare between two towns A and B was 80 shillings okay, per passenger for one way. Then the mini, minibus made three round trips between the two towns daily. The cost of fuel was 1,500 shillings per day. The driver and the conductor were paid daily allowance of 200 shillings and 150 Kenyan shillings respectively. A further 4,000 Kenyan shillings per day was set aside for maintenance, insurance, and loan repayment. But A. How much money was collected from the passengers that day? How much was the net profit? Then Part B. On another day, the minibus was 80% full on the average for the three round trips. How much did each business get if the day's profit was shared in the ratio of 2 to 3. Okay, 
so you can also put that one down then the last question question number 15 a shopkeeper sells two types of pangas type x and type y 12 x pangas and five type y pangas cost 1260 shillings while nine type x pangas and 15 type y pangas costs 1620 shillings Mungala bought 18 type y pangas how much did he pay for them so you can also copy that you can also copy that and then you work it out okay did you like this video clip on assignment now if you like the video clip then press subscribe and like next to the lower side of the video as you watch it so this is an evidence that you have acquired the content hello viewers i hope you enjoyed the lesson and uh, you gained a lot now before leaving this uh, video clip i would like you to subscribe below it and like it and you can also comment on some of the challenges that you came across as you are watching this video so that i can improve on them otherwise uh, thank you very much ensure that you can also go through the other video clips on the same on youtube thank you